Follow the diagram showing the process of meiosis. During interphase, the cell replicates its chromosomes. Each chromosome then consists of two identical sister chromatids held together by a centromere. During prophase one, the chromosomes coil up and a spindle forms. Then, in a step unique to meiosis, each pair of homologous chromosomes comes together to form a tetrad. During metaphase one, tetrads line up on the equator of the spindle. During anaphase one, homologous chromosomes separate and move to opposite ends of the cell. This critical step ensures that each new cell will receive only one chromosome from each homologous pair. During telophase one, the spindle is broken down, the chromosomes uncoil, and the cytoplasm divides to yield two new cells, each with half the number of chromosomes. The second division of meiosis now proceeds. During prophase two, a spindle forms in each of the two new cells. During metaphase two, the chromosomes, still made up of sister chromatids, line up at the equator. Anaphase two begins as the centromere of each chromosome splits, allowing the sister chromatids to separate and move to opposite poles. During telophase two, nuclei reform, the spindle breaks down, and the cytoplasm divides. Four cells, each with half the number of chromosomes, are produced.